live in so many different worlds. In some worlds there are soldiers, in others there are dragons, but I own them all. They're just much more interesting than my own world. I've begun to notice just recently that it's a little too small. This world must have something to offer, but I'm not sure what it is. Every now and then though, something completely random happens. Come on, easy. Yes! Never knew what hit ya. Ow! What was that? Hmm, what is that? The book was filled with stories. Some of them were a bit strange. Like a guy who lay on his side for over a year. Some of them though were kinda cool. Like a huge warrior who challenged an entire country. His name was Goliath, and he was big. Like a boss level monster. Every day he would stand in front of a whole army and dare any one of them to come out and fight him one on one. No one ever did, at least until one day. He was just a little kid, a weed. He was so going to get owned. Only problem is, he didn't. Headshot. Either that kid totally fluked it, or he was using some kind of cheat code or something. According to the book though, it wasn't just luck. The book told of many people doing amazing things, but in real life, and not in some kind of game. They could be brave, they could be weak. What they had that made them different was something bigger than the world they lived in. Like the three guys with unpronounceable names who were about to be thrown into a fire because they wouldn't bow down and worship the king, who had an even longer name. The king did the usual sort of rant, do what I say or else. The three guys were pretty jumpy, but they said they wouldn't worship the king or any of his gods. And they said something else. They said that their god could save them from the fire if he wanted. The king didn't take it that well and turned the fire up extra hot just to be on the safe side. The book told many stories of failure, but something new, something I'd never found in any of my other worlds, hope. Even when it looked like you'd lost, you could win. The king got a nasty one that day. Not only did the three guys hang around in the fire completely unharmed, but the king saw a fourth person in there with them and they looked, well, they looked like some kind of god. And the king realised he may have made a small tactical error. The book told of a god who made everything. And he could step into the world and change things. And according to the book, one day he did just that. God actually came to the world as a man. And showed just a little bit of what this enormous god was like. Four different people each wrote what had happened. That this God was bigger than the world itself. Bigger than nature. Bigger than sickness. Even bigger than death. Open the tomb. This man was God. Lazarus. Come out! This God created this world and everything in it. They will make the Son of Man suffer terribly. They will reject him and kill him. But three days later he will rise to life. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Knowing this God is like having the cheat codes. Only it's not cheat codes. This is how we were always meant to live. And there's one book which tells us all about it. And there's only one book which tells us all about him.